Okay, so uh, what we're going to go over today is how to use properly use liquid oxygen systems. We have a base unit and a portable unit, also known as a C41 and a C1000. So hopefully by the end of this we'll be able to see how to use the base units themselves, much in the way that the concentrators are used, and how to properly fill and tell if a portable unit is full itself. So if I get you just come get a couple of close-ups in this so we can see. There's not a lot of components to read here, but we have one gauge port. This is how you can tell whether or not it's full or empty. There is a red system as well as a neon indicator line. And if you look closely right now, you can see that neon line is directly over 1 over 1 or 100% or full. As it goes down, it will reach half and to zero. So this is your contents gauge. It's how you see it's full. How to, when you actually use the oxygen port here, you can set the liter flow with this one radial dial. And as you can see, this is a click style. Uh, regulator which will go all the way up to 10 liters a minute. The other system works exactly the same way. So if you wanted uh, 15 liters a minute, you can set one at 10 and one at 5 or split them as evenly as possible, such as 8 and 7 or 8 and 6 as there is no 7 setting. Um, the, only other, the only other movable part here is this push button which helps you remove the portable from the fill connector. Here we have our portable and it is much the same way. There is a contents gauge which we'll go over is actually a weight scale that you have to hold on to the top strap closest to the top of the gauge and let it hang and dangle and that will give you a proper reading of what's inside the portable unit. Other than that, to use it, we again have a radial regulator gauge which is also a click style, works in the same manner, but actually goes up to 15 liters a minute. So that should be more than enough one unit itself to uh, meet the script. The only possible oxygen port is again on top. That's where you're going to want to plug your cannula into, um, much like you would a regulator on a cylinder. So to properly fill a portable off of a base unit, we're going to connect this blue inlet, this blue connector piece, is going to match up perfectly with this blue uh, piece on the base unit. And you will see this cutout shape matches nicely with the shape of the portable unit. So it's only going to fit on one way, which is nice. And you're just going to connect these two pieces and press securely down. As you press down, you're going to, you're, you're going to notice that there is no sound right now. In order to properly fill, in order to get liquid into this portable system, there is a vent tab here which is marked with numbers that you must pull down to let gas escape so that liquid can enter the portable. And by doing so, we're actually going to hear that gas escape through the system and it may be loud at first, a quick demonstration. You're going to have to let that go for about one minute. Uh, it could take longer, it could go quicker. Um, and when you finish, that gaseous sound is going to sound more like an escaping liquid. And you also see uh, white plumes as liquid oxygen is coming out. It looks very cloudy, very much like the clouds in the sky. Okay, we are allowed to fill one for demonstration purposes. Would you like to fill a whole one here? Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll do the whole thing then. We're going to hold down on this, this open tab here. Mm -hmm. 